Okay, we asked to find a cubic function which is passes through our four points. One, two, three, four. First of all, what is our general form for the cubic function? Y equals a x cube plus b x squared plus c x plus d. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug in these points in our basic equation and it's gonna it needs to have four of them, we're gonna have four equations for it will be solving this system of equations and by solving the system we're gonna find their values of A, B, C and D. Okay. First first point is 2, negative 3, 2, which is equal to 2. And for the x value, we plug in negative 3, we have a times negative 3 cubed plus b negative, oops, sorry, negative 3 squared plus c times negative 3 plus d. Next one is 0, 5, and we have y value is 5 equals x is 0 a times 0 cubed, we can just write 0 plus b 0 squared, just let's leave it 0 plus c times 0 plus d next point is 3 0 uh, y value is 0, x value is 3 and we have a times 3 cubed plus b times 3 squared plus c times 3 plus d and last one negative 5 0 we have y value of 0 again x is negative 5 a times negative 5 cubed plus b negative 5 squared plus c times negative 5 plus d okay this is our system of equations we have four equations four variable four variables a b c and d now first step let me try to simplify it i'm going over here okay and it will be two equals negative three cubed negative twenty seven a mm, plus nine b minus 3c plus d next one let's keep all these numbers with zeros because we're gonna use them in matrix later on and we have 0a plus 0b plus 0c plus d next one is 0 equals 3 cube is 27a plus 9b plus 3c plus d and last one again 0 equals negative 5 cubed negative 1 25a negative 5 squared plus 25b negative 5c negative 5 times c plus d. Now we have our system of equation. Let's change it. I'm gonna solve it by using matrix. Matrices, matrices method. And for matrix method we what we're gonna do we're gonna kinda do coefficients next to our variables. Okay it's variable side will be our matrix A and coefficients of Actually, not coefficients of constant constants on the other side will be our matrix B. And actually, you should know that inverse of matrix A times matrix B should be should give the our answer new matrix which will include our variables A, B, C, and D. Okay, this is the appro approach which we're going to use now how we're gonna find inverse matrix A. We're gonna use calculator. 
because if you're going to use it by hand, it will take a lot of time. Now, we're going to go to Matrix A. Actually, let me write it down first. Our oh, Matrix A is just our column coefficients next to our variables. And we have negative 27, 9, negative 3, 1. And just follow this. K okay, and matrix B is just this. And it's equals to 2, 5, 0, 0. Now, let's plug into calculator. And we're using second matrix. Go to edit. Boom, boom, edit. Choose matrix A. It's already there, but enter. Uh, using our matrix is four by four. And we have to plug in four rows, four columns. And we have four by four. And our matrix just plug in now we just plug in the values. Negative twenty seven nine negative three one zero 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 our matrix. Now let's plug in our matrix B and it is again second matrix go to edit edit go to matrix B don't forget to go to matrix B matrix B now our matrix B is four rows four rows one column plug in and it's actually I did it already before it's just two five zero zero now we're gonna do calculations to do this we just second quit go to calculations and we have to recall our matrix A to recall our matrix A we're just going second matrix in names choosing A it's already there enter and our matrix A we should use inverse inverse just press the inverse button right here now we have times matrix B again set set second matrix in names using choosing sec matrix B and now enter that's it we have our new matrix with our answers but here we have decimal decimal approximation if you want to make exact which we actually want we're just going to change it to fractions change it to fractions we're going just math and the first one is actually fraction just enter and enter again now it's our matrix was changed to a fraction answer and now we can rewrite our answer our answer is actually a b c d I'll write like this a b c d equals to matrix almost straight negative one eight negative four nines one six and five and actually how can you see it yeah and actually this is our coefficients of our equation now we actually were looking for equation cubic equation cubic function and our cubic function equals to y equals a is negative one eight negative one eight x cube using this general form plus b which is negative four nines okay minus four nines x squared plus cx which is one six plus one six x and plus d which is five and this is our answer our cubic function which is passing through four given points